What up guys? Welcome to the Chop Shop. And what I'm gonna try to keep is a short. And uh, long story short is I made a Facebook post that I was going to make some spider web um, plant holders. I did just that. Um, asked people if they wanted some. People wanted some. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I made that real quick. And I mean, that's undeniably cooler than that, right? That compared to <laughs> that, it's way more cool. So here's a real quick, kind of better look at this thing. Nothing crazy. And I just kind of freestyle all this stuff and I do it like all my vice. So I'm going to be on the hook first and just put a 90 in it. And then I'm going to grab my hammer and just bang it into a hook. Boom, a hook. They're not exactly the same. I mean, they're quite alike, but whatever, it didn't have to be this art, man. And then from this point forward, from this point, I just pull, and I know this measurement because I've already made one of these, a 10 inch and a 10 inch line. First 10 inch line. It's gonna be my bend. My second 10 inch line is my cut. Got my piece bent, cut, and with the piece of scrap that was left over, I just pulled this measurement. Actually, I just lined it up, I didn't even pull the measurement, but. This piece right here, <clears throat> just grab my speed square and I'm gonna just tack that in real quick. At this point in time, what I do is again, just get a piece of scrap that's kind of ironically gonna be the perfect size. I normally do my outside loop first. And I literally just take this piece, come over here, and you can either smack it with a hammer, or one method that works real nice, is you can just kind of leave your vise a little bit loose, and just work this through, and just slowly put a decent little bend in this. Well, it didn't need to be perfect. I mean, I go through and kind of critique stuff a little bit, but. Boom. As far as my little backer plate goes, I'm literally just using leftover pieces of metal uh, that were already leftover pieces of metal that I used for my F100's floorboards. Uh, and I just use this one as a stencil. But if you need to know, it's inch and a half by eight and a quarter. I cut my random piece, put two holes in it, and I'm aware that I have workbenches and stuff, but I'm kind of doing this just to show you how just unbelievably, you know, easy doing stuff like this is. And again, I just bust out my speed square, make sure this thing is vertical. half ass center it up. That's it. Uh, I go through and I smack it a few more times to harden it back up from welding. Welding, I cannot talk. I can build cool shit, but I can't talk. Wow. That's it, guys. Um, I think I managed to actually record this in less than like 15, 20 minutes or so. But this is just kind of inspire you to kind of go do cool shit. I mean, uh, this was really going to stand out from anything anybody else has. As well as my wife and I are wanting to get a website live and have all kinds of cool stuff like this for sale. I'm going to build shelves, uh, plant hangers, uh, I'm actually going to do some mailbox stuff. Uh, so look for that in the future. We're going to have a live, our own website, shirts, vinyl, cool shit like this. But go build your own stuff. Go build cool stuff.